Scala includes another construct that's very similar to an abstract class, and it's called a trait. Now the reason why we need traits is because there are some limitations on classes. We've been working with our shape class, we made our shape class abstract, and we have a rectangle that extends it. One of the things that I haven't shown you how to do is how to extend multiple things. How would you inherit from multiple classes? And it turns out the answer is you can't. Okay? There is a limitation in Scala that you can only extend one class. However, you can extend multiple traits. You can also extend one class and multiple traits, but you cannot extend multiple classes. So there are certain concepts that in order to be able to express them in your type hierarchy, you have to use traits. To illustrate this, I'm going to start off with a simple example of we're going to make a person. Now, I'm not actually going to bother putting anything in our person. We'll just leave it empty to start with. And what I really want to do is I want to be able to make a class for, let's go with a mother. And I want to express the types for this appropriately. So instead of to start with, instead of making this a trait, let's make this a class. So I have a class for a person. Well, okay, a mother is a person, but a mother also happens to be a parent. And the, mo the mother happens to be female. Okay, now if we were limiting ourselves to just classes, I might want to try to express this as the mother is a person and then actually the keyword that we'll wind up using is with a parent with mother. As you can see, Scala doesn't like this. Okay, We are not allowed to extend multiple classes. Oops, and actually part of this because I made mother there instead of female. So I get a, a different error, but still, we have an error. We can't extend too many classes. Things have to be traits in here. Uh, so one way to do this would be to just make, turns out if I make all of these into traits, or actually I have to make uh, parent and female into traits, I could choose to make person into a trait. I am allowed to extend one class the way this is written, the class actually has to be the thing I extend, and then I can use with to bring in the traits. In fact, a lot of times, instead of saying we inherit from traits, we will use the term we mix in a trait. So I could make this a trait and make this a trait, and now this is happy. And this actually, this form would work well if we are allowing for the idea that parents don't have to be people. So maybe we're allowing, you know, the in the uh, animal parents and the fact that animals can have gender, you know, we have male and female uh, dogs and cats. So this type approach would express that. Once again, I could also take and make the person have a uh, be a trait and that works fine. Now, if we're only limiting ourselves to the realm of people, we might be tempted to have it so that parent and female are both subtypes of person. And then the mother might not be. Mother would only extend parent and female. And because those extend person, mother winds up through transitivity extending person. And so those are two different ways that we could set this up and we require traits in order to be able to do this. Okay, so now let's look at traits in our more complex example of a shape. I've made a decision, and that decision is that there are things in my program that involve color that are not shapes. And so while I still want my rectangle and my circle to involve colors, I really don't want it to be through the shape. I want to create a more general type. I'm going to create a new trait called has color and the color 
or has color is going to have, as we would expect, a color inside of it. Now, something to note here. Note that I did not pass this in the way that I did for the class. In Scala 2.x, you cannot pass arguments to traits. That is one limitation on them. So if you want them to have some data that's defined in the subtypes, you have to declare an abstract value. Um, turns out that traits, as I said before, traits are like abstract classes. They can be abstract. I don't have to add an abstract keyword. I'm not supposed to because the trait is kind of inherently an abstract, uh, kind of equivalent to an abstract class. So now I have this has color. I'm actually going to take out the color from my shape. Okay, and so I'm going to make the draw on shape be abstract. And my rectangle and my circle, and then I will also need my mutable rectangle uh, as well, they need to do something different. Well, so my shape no longer takes an argument. In fact, if I do that, well, I'm getting closer. The fact that draw is not defined on the super type causes me some problems. I'm going to extends has color. And now, oops, sorry, I extend shape with has color. Uh, let's see if we can just, we'll comment that line for a second. I don't want to deal with that error yet because I want to see this error instead. So it says rectangle needs to be abstract since the value color in the, has, uh, in the trait has color is not defined. So we said here that all subtypes of has color would define a val color. The easiest way for us to add that, we're already putting this in here. How about we do val color? So we'll just make the argument into a val and that satisfies the requirement here. Now, as before, we had been calling, so how do we deal with this line? Okay, our shape no longer has a draw because there's nothing for the shape to do in general. We have a design decision here. Uh, should has color have a method called draw? Okay. I could do this. I could add a method so that the setting of the color is actually done through a draw method. And this would do what we had before, gc dot fill equals color. Now my rectangle is happy. And the reason is because when it is resolving what version of draw to use, it actually starts at the end of this list and goes backward. And because has color has a draw method in it, that draw method is when I call it inside of rectangle using super, it comes here. If I tried to call super again here, it would go kind of up through. There's a process called linearization, which we don't really want to go into. Um, the alternative approach would be instead of calling this draw, in some ways I'm okay with this because I assume if I have a color, I would want to be able to, I'm, I'm using this for drawing purposes. I could have another method called set color. And then the idea would be that rectangle would call set color in here. Either one of those works. Let's real quick make the same change on our circle. We don't extend, we don't pass shape anything, but we extend both shape and has color and now that code's happy. I'll go and fix the other classes that are going to be broken here uh, outside of the video. And we'll come back and we'll talk about the final keyword and how we prevent either inheritance or overriding in the next video.